welcome to my channel. So I am doing an August favorites video for you guys and I've got a few items, not too many, but things that I've really been loving and some of the items I've had for a really long time but I'm just now loving them again or I've been using them more this month so I'm like, hmm, let's put them in the August favorite. Grab your cup of coffee, cup of tea, glass of wine uh, <laughs> and let's get started. Okay. So first things first are the two candles I have behind me. They are the Bath and Body Works um, Pecan pumpkin pecan waffles and then the bergamot waters they are completely opposite from each other but I love burning them at the same time um, not next to each other but like I'll burn I have a small studio apartment so in my kitchen I'll burn the pumpkin pecan waffles and then in like the living space area I'll burn the bergamot waters like it's the bergamot waters lives on my desk right here so I'll just light it and they smell so good like if you have not smelled these before go into Bath and Body Works and just smell them They'll probably buy them, but they're so good. Uh, yeah, so those two are all my favorites because they're probably all done now. There's like nothing left. I just finished burning them and then I was like, oh my gosh, I have to remember to put these in a favorite. So I blew them out and then I went to put them right there so I didn't forget. I think I'll do home. I'll save beauty. Um, so in the home haul, guys, or new, my favorites, is this KitchenAid hand mixer. I know y'all are like, uh, what? But so I love cooking. Uh, most of my friends and family know that I love cooking and I love things that are pretty in the kitchen and this is adorable. Now the or my like dream wish list KitchenAid products are the copper line like the everything copper. I would die if I ever had those items but for now the teal is just the perfect pop of color in my kitchen. It's also a hand mixer so you'll need it. Um, but I've been using this a lot. I've used it recently to whip um, cream um so yeah really good love the color works um i mean i don't know what else you would say about a hand mixer all right so moving on to i guess we'll do beauty now things i've been been loving um this past month are, is the keels creme de corpse and it is so good creme de corpse or creme de corps i've been loving this lotion which i'm sure most of you know by now it's by keels it is so moisturizing you know how i know this works i have the ashiest elbows ever. i have dry skin altogether my skin is extremely dry so i have to you know retain i have to do things to retain a lot of moisture and most lotions you can feel it right away that you put it on and they kind of just sit on your skin i'm not here for that so when you put on the keels creme de corps and you like work it into your skin you see the shine but you can also tell that it's like penetrating the layers and like actually moisturizing something rather than sitting on top 20 minutes later I look at my elbows ashy no this is working like this is good stuff so been loving this I have been trying to use it sparingly because it's $48 guys this thing is $48 and a little does go a long way like I think to cover my whole body I use maybe four to six pumps and they're about this big Y'all know that was just a way for me to use this right now, right? Just in case we're looking a little dry. Like, I just want to get in there. And, like, I love putting it on my um, neck and chest area because it just gives you this nice shine. You just look moisturized. And sometimes I'll actually go in with one of my next favorites, which is the Body Shop Bronzer in Golden Bronze which I pretty much use as a highlighter. This isn't bronze and anything on your girl's melanated skin. So it's pretty much a highlighter. Like even the darkest color is not a bronzer for me. I highlight with it. I typically put it down the bridge of my nose. Or I'll take a big fluffy brush and just dust it on my like clavicle area. Just gives a nice little summer glow. Um, but yeah, I use it to highlight my face, not to bronze it because Body Shop, yeah, I tried it. This was the darkest shade. Next favorite is going to be my Lush aroma water which is a toner water and it's lavender and rose it smells so good the one thing i don't like is the spray cap so i'm y'all can't see it but when you spray it of course it comes out beautiful then y'all i don't know i have not been able to get this to mist all it has been doing is shooting like sharp jet streams at my face and i do not love it so just a while ago it sprayed well though oh Mm, kind of it still has some work to do I don't know I gotta figure that out but um yeah I love spraying this they recommend you spray it on right before you put on your moisturizer so I'll cleanse my face spray this let it dry in a little bit and then I'll hit it with the next favorite you see how my favorites lead into each other um which is the Kiehl's 24 hour uh moisture 
yeah if my face doesn't look super dewy and creamy i can tell that this is still working somewhere and moisturizing my face so i really like this um the formula is super thick Woo just got all over the place yeah so it's thick and i'll just use a tiny bit of this and you don't need to like bake your face in it like why so yeah, those are the beauty things. Oh, actually I have two scents I wanna to share too. First up is my Jo Malone Blackberry and Bay Cologne. Jo Malone is one of my favorite scent and fragrance people. I just, you know, I can't, Jo, I cannot afford you, okay? Let me tell you something, I didn't even buy this. My boyfriend's mom gave it to me because she didn't like the scent and I love it and I'm like, I'll take it off of your hands. <laughs> but yeah, I love Jo Malone, I love the candles, I love the perfumes, it just smells so good. I wish it was more affordable for me. But we gonna be there one day, right? Jomo on everywhere. Um, but yeah, I love the Blackberry and Bay Cologne. It's like spicy, but light. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Smell it. I don't know where this came from or how I got this. I can't remember. But it's the Vera Wang. Um, I don't know which one. And I hated this the first time I smelled it absolutely hated it but for some reason in the heat here in seattle it's been working for me the next thing i have are these sephora eye masks now i've used one of them already which was the rose one i love it <laughs> um the next one i have to use is the pearl eye mask now these are five dollars at sephora and they have the feet masks face mask hand like lip mask all the different masks and i think it's so such a nice inexpensive way to kind of just get a mask you know my bags are down to here like they are not designer honey so we got to use some sephora to patch them up get them together or sometimes i'll just do a really tight pony and i'll be like yes <laughs> so yeah the eye masks are really good the next item i have is going to be my new planner and i purchased this from nordstrom during the anniversary sale and it is the fringe big plans planner um i'm not sure if you can see it but the front has this really beautiful rose gold detailing the one thing i guess i would say i don't like was that just fuzz from my sweater on my nose right the one thing i would say that i really i guess i'm bummed about is the material of this planner it's I can't even put a name on it I was I would describe it as maybe not neoprene but I don't know but it's a it's a it feels like textured or it's soft it's really soft which means it it takes on things so I've got like tons of makeup stains and just like little scratches which you actually can't see too much on here it's not picking up but yeah like you can see a little bit of bronzer and stuff so that's the only thing it's definitely decorated now um and my makeup but i love it it goes from this august all the way to december 2017 so i'll be using this for a bit and i've honestly just been using it for blogging and youtubing ideas because i feel like my i use my technology like my iphone and my ipad uh to remind me of events in my life like things like oh if i have to pay a bill or if i have a me i find that when it comes to my creativity i need to write like i need to see what i'm doing and to to retain it so i'm starting to write that stuff down in here and it's been going well i think so yeah that's definitely a favorite the next favorite i have would have to be my bag so we're getting into clothing now guys this bag i purchased from h m and it's just a regular standard black bag it's pretty structured or it was now i feel like it's kind of losing its shape just because i don't treat it very well i love it so much i just toss it around um and on it so it's a simple black bag but i've pinned or attached these two little furry um balls furry little balls to it <laughs> um one comes in green and red and i purchased these from charlotte russe and they were like under ten dollars i know some of them can get really pricey but i'm not paying like a hundred dollars for decoration when i can get it for cheaper um so yeah i just attached them here and i feel like it makes the bag just look a little better um i don't know it looks really cute huh and then the sides do kind of go in so if i wanted a little bit more structure i could have that Ooh. y'all this is a favorite too y'all ever been to costco and got the and got mm. I promise y'all I like words and I know how to use them correctly. But this is the um, Nature's Bakery Fig Bar. I'm holding it upside down. Delicious. I love having these as like a snack just to toss in my bag for when I get um, peckish. 
So it says cholesterol free, dairy free, zero gram trans fat, kosher, non GMO. Two of them come in this little thing, and honestly, two is enough to make you feel full. Like, once I eat two of them, I feel like, okay, I can push through the day, I don't need a whole meal. Like, I'm okay, this is a good snack. I don't have to keep eating tons of food. So I love keeping these in my bag. My next favorite, which is also pretty dirty, is gonna be my Kate Spade wallet. Love, love, love the wallet. It's really cute. It's like one of my favorites. I just love this shape. I love this style of wallet. I like wallets that are pretty but also functional. So, you know, having tons of pockets on the insides for me to slip cash and receipts and things, that helps. You know, different um, things for my cars. Okay, I love these boots. So, um, I was walking the mall and I saw this little shop and it had like, it was a one of those like cheapy little shops have, that have like $3 clothes and $5 clothes and $10 clothes. I've been looking for like some pleather boots for ages and I found these so yes they they look like you know pleather but they're rain boots and in Seattle everyone's been telling me oh it gets rainy and stuff and I cannot wear tall rain boots like the ones that come up close to your knee and stuff I've tried they just my calves are too fat I, I can't find comfortable rain boots if you guys have suggestions drop them below also I don't want to spend thousands of dollars or hundreds of dollars on rain boots these were ten dollars I'm not sure how long they're gonna last me but I love them. I'm probably not going to wear them just in the rain. Like I put them on the other day with uh, black jeans and like a black top and just these and it was just so cute. It just looks so simple and then you have them. Aren't they adorable? They were $10. They also had them in black but I felt like black was just a little too plain. This wine color was everything. And I love that they have, I mean obviously these are functional for you to help pull them up on your um when you put them on but i just love the detailing of them that they're back there i really like boots that have well sometimes they it depends on the design but i think it works for this style i also love that they chose not to make this the same color as the boot i don't know if that was like a per uh a choice that they wanted to or I don't know but I really love these I love them so much I can't wait to wear them more one thing I will say they are super narrow and I have really wide feet so I've been like stretching them out by stuffing things in there and I think it's working um they're getting a little wider I just I've only worn them twice so I gotta break these in a bit more but I love this once Seattle starts actually misting and raining and when the summer's over I think they'll be really great so I'm looking forward to that so next up we have these um, linen pants so they look a little crushed up right now but yeah they're these linen pants um, they've got a little cuff at the bottom they're full length I got them from love culture um, that little store and I'll style these in a video or something so you guys can see next I have these shorts from Old Navy um, so they're just these denim shorts they have a little bit of distressing in them or on them rather yeah so this is them they're kind of long i think they're called the boyfriend short or something i don't know actually they just say curvy profile because your girl got some curve color the wash on them is perfect and i feel like with every wash they just get a little more distressed or a little they look different after a wash but i like it they look different in a really good way i've been wearing these all summer next i have this top which i had to rescue from the dirty laundry guys but i just had to show you because i've worn this a million times so far i have a blog post where i'm wearing it uh, and it's super dirty right now what the show guys <laughs> but yeah this is the top it's one of those like off the shoulder crochet um loose tops it's really pretty i just I never thought that I'd be an off the shoulder top girl, but this made me fall in love with off the shoulder tops. I just think it, they look really nice and feminine. I don't know. I think that is it for our favorites. Um, so we've got a few beauty, we've got some home, a little bit of clothing. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy checking out some of these items. And again, if I can't find these in stock or on websites anywhere, I will link them below. That is my August favorites guys stay tuned for next month's favorites let's see if any of these items make a comeback what new things I may have gotten into next month um thank you so much for watching this video uh leave any suggestions below of items you guys are loving or if you've tried any of these out what your impressions of them are if you want to see any other videos drop those below too um and as always I love you